In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the buttons in your question slides. One of the viewers of my YouTube channel was asking about putting their own navigation controls in to their question slides, and they wanted to replace the very generic buttons that simply said a word with uh, images or icons that represented what those particular options were. Let me show you how this is done in Captivate 2019. Okay, so I've created a very generic looking uh, Captivate project file with a bunch of quiz questions here. And I'm just using the blank theme. Obviously, uh, the process would look a little different with other themes, but of course the process would be the same steps, of course. So the key thing here is that we want to go to the master slide. I've already done that here, and I'm gonna start with my submit button, probably the most important button on a question slide here. And you'll notice by default, the, the style of button is a text button. This is a holdover to very old versions of Adobe Captivate and you can switch it to a transparent button where you can change the colors and the opacity and even add a corner radius. But the, other than that, there's really not much you can do. The third option is image button. And there was a whole bunch of these different images uh, or image buttons rather built into Captivate. And unfortunately, because of the size that we used to produce e-learning at, they're really not very useful. As you can see here, this uh, clear button or this continue button. Uh, if we zoom in really close here, you'll see that the, the quality of resolution just isn't there. But the good news is there is a change icon next to image button here, and you can import your own images of your own selection. So I'm going to click on this folder icon here, and I'm going to navigate to where I've downloaded some icons just from the web that I think might be appropriate here. So this is for the submit button. I figured I'd use a check mark for the submit button here, and that looks pretty good. And of course, I could go higher resolution if I wanted to, um, but this becomes the, the default for this style of question slide. And we can do the same thing for our skip button. We can go to image button, click the folder icon, and we'll use the uh, right facing arrow for that there. And just one by one, you can go and, and change these as you see fit. I'll do the same thing for back. We'll click that, we'll choose that there. Clear, I've got sort of this recycle icon that I think is quite good. And yeah, we'll use that one there. I think that's self-explanatory what we're doing. And we already have the image buttons for this, but I can import them again. It won't uh, or won't use up extra space, but it will allow us to do exactly what we're doing here. And of course, I would need to do this for all of the question master slides. Uh, it's not one of those things where you could select this and then apply it as a style because uh, you would need to create a style for each of the different types of, of buttons here. So you would do the same process here. And when we exit the master slide, of course, all the slides that use that multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank style already have those buttons in there. And of course, you can use larger resolution images. You can use colored images, whatever it is that you wish to do. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.